Okay, guys, uh, I just need to make sure that the recording is working right, and I don't think that it is. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, okay, never mind. It is working correctly. Um, let's go back to the game here. Just wait for the sound to catch up with us. Okay, sounds of the city um, looking good. So we're going to be playing The Lost City tonight. Uh, I kind of liked this mission the first few times I played it. Uh, I've never played the Thief Gold version of this mission before, so that'll be something new to check out. Um, that's my dog making noise back there. Uh, yeah, so that'll be something new to check out right now. Um, so let's do it, let's do it. Uh, I was about to say earlier I was, I was feeling a bit tired, but I'm feeling much better now. Um, so it looks like I, we shouldn't have any trouble getting through this mission. And we're going to have some more bourbon-fueled larceny tonight, although it's going to be less larceny and more sort of tomb slash grave robbing slash raiding. Um, but again, there's going to be a different type of enemy in this mission. We may do the other mission too, depending. I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take. But I've heard the next mission is, uh, like, one of the best in the entire series, and, uh, oddly enough, I haven't played it before. Which is the, uh, Song of the Caverns, it's the Opera House one. But I'm just gonna go through the city streets here, okay, so there's nothing to see in the city right now, just yet. exploring uh, make sure we're not missing anything before we start the official mission so gotta go down here let me catch my breath first before we go down there if I remember correctly it's quite a long swim so I want to make sure we're moving diagonally and and all that jazz. See, I think it's funny that the, the Lost City has sort of an Atlantean, uh, Egyptian sort of vibe going on with it. Oh man, I think we're gonna die. Yeah, we're probably gonna die here. Sorry, folks. I did not plan this out very well. Oh my god, what a waste. Uh. I'm not certain we're gonna stick with this. Ah! Jesus Christ, that was awful. Did we even get a breath potion at the beginning of this? No, we, we got nothing. Um, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and build that quick save. Uh, I think there's a better way to do this. I definitely didn't take advantage of a uh, couple of things that I could have done. Okay. Is that there? What we're going to do here is we're going to surface here before we start this whole thing. And now we're going to try this. Yeah, once again, I don't know if it's the mod, I don't know if it's the original uh, issues with gold or whatever, but a lot of these swimming sections seem to not really give you enough space. There's just barely enough. Alright, we're going to try this again. Alright, so we got through with our health. We're going to go ahead and save. Get out our broadheads. Start sniping fucking spiders. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What a good shot I am, right? Nice! It only took, what, how many arrows? Six arrow- oh, I did not keep track. Alright, well hopefully that's the last we need of those. Um, if we can recover some of those, that would be fantastic. No? Alright, well, we tried. What's that over there? I feel like there's something over there that I want. 
Well, there's more spiders down there, so this is going to be fantastic. Um, all right, let's give it a shot. Ooh. So I'm just going to use the sword from now on. I'm not going to waste any more arrows on these. Whoa, shit! I found the matriarch. God damn, what the fuck is wrong with this game? Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna load. I can't I can't not have that much health. That's that's ridiculous. Um Excuse me? It wasn't letting me lean. Come on, man. Hmm, this is not so good for me. I must think on my situation and how I may improve it. Alright, let's see you there, Lost City. Let's go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that spider again. Gyu! That's right, we did it. I forgot how perilous it was in here. Definitely not my favorite mission, but I don't have too many qualms with it, except once again, it's a lot of fighting monsters and stuff, although there should be more human enemies in the gold version, from what I understand. I'm just gonna check, okay, I just needed to check audio levels and everything again. Everything's looking good. Okay. How can the keepers keep this place a secret? Do remember this level is quite large. What are our objectives again? All right, now it says 2,000 in loot, including 500 in gems to recover the keeper medallions from the lost expedition, obtain the talisman of fire, leave the lost city. Okay, are you serious? Goddamn bricks. Oh my god, and I forgot about these fucking lights. <laughs> I've had it up to here with those damn things. Clearly not my favorite, these stupid lights. What's cool in Thief 2 is that they bring all of this back. They don't really make any concessions about the Lost City. It's kind of basically... I mean, it's different because they've been excavating it, but it's also the same in many ways. You'll recognize certain places and areas in the Lost City. In fact, I think this is the exit to the Lost City in Thief 2, exactly where we're at right now, which is pretty cool. save. Yeah, this room looks very familiar. From Thief 2, I mean.
<sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's kill some dinosaurs. wasn't just a sequel to Turok. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, in Thief 2, almost this exact room, you go through one of these, and then there's like a rock slide, because I remember this area. And there's like a rock slide, and then you go through there, and then that's how you get out. So it's, it's pretty much this exact area. Which makes sense, because it's close to the entrance of where we're at here. Despite hardships, I have welcomed this opportunity to study the city of the Precursors. Their society was remarkable, stratified like the bedrock, and seemingly as stable. Above all was the Emperor, a divine figure, answerable to none but their gods. Emperors were seldom seen by the common people, and this distance gave rise to a powerful and politically charged bureaucracy. The last Emperor but one, Vatarak, seems to have been different, an unprecedented man of the people. Actually, hold on. Let me read that again. Oh no, okay. Alright, so that was it. <clears throat> That's kind of my keeper voice. The impression sounds okay to me, but of course everyone's voice and impressions sound different uh, when heard by a second or third party. So. <sighs> I'm not sure it's very good. But I feel like I sound like the one guy who's just like, Very good. I did not hear you approach. No, these are relevant in Thief 2. I don't think we need to read those in, in Thief Gold. Anybody home? Goddamn dinosaurs, you the scourge. Getting pretty good at this. One thing I do have to ask, and, and maybe it's something I forgot that was plot relevant. What is the significance of having Constantine's sword? Uh, I don't think it does anything magical. I, it would be nice if it killed enemies faster or something. That would be pretty cool. Don't want your stupid skull. I'm so respectful of the dead. What the hell is that? It's gonna be, it seems like it's gonna be another long mission, if that's how fast we're getting loot. Oh, 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 I feel like I, heck, squeeze me. Come on, buddy. Oh, I thought I saw something here. I thought I saw, like, a key or something. Nothing in here. I did remember this being just weird as all hell the first time I played it. I was just like, what? is this weird thing is i had played thief 2 and deadly shadows i shouldn't have been that weirded out by this i just i guess i just wasn't ready for this level of you know like huh what you know i wasn't ready for this level of oh god okay i'm gonna save careful careful and once again the best feature that I just found out. Unless there's some sort of elemental puzzle, I can't imagine I'm gonna need too many fire arrows. 
So you think a lot of the levels in Thief uh, the Dark Project had a sort of theme, something they were testing you on. So it wasn't all stealth. Some were about the combat, believe it or not. Some were about uh, navigation um, and, and reading the environment for clues and, and you know actual notes for clues and stuff like that. Some were about puzzle solving, and I think this one was about more like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was about Jesus Christ. It was about uh, evangelism. That's what this level's about. No, this level's about um, uh, acrobatics. Or not, I shouldn't say acrobatics. This, this is about um, learning the, the jumping skills in the game and things like that. Jumping mechanics, man. I can't think today. So we're going to try and approach those burks from a different direction and see if we can't Smash him with a hammer. Oh god, oh god, oh god, shit, fuck. How did he... He must have heard me. Oh, for fuck's sake, no! Oh god damn it. Fucking bitch. Oh fuck you. Oh my god. 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 Oh, they're gonna find me and they're gonna eat me. No. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I didn't know they could go up the stairs. And that one is just out for my- listen to him! He's out for my blood! How am I supposed to concentrate with all this shit going on? I need some bourbon for this, I can't deal with this. can hear me, man. I know I probably shouldn't keep saving, but... Oh, Jesus Christ! What in the fucking fuck? And there's another one! Do you hear him? For God's sake! It never ends. save. Uh, do we still have Burrick? Yeah, we still have Burrick, right? <laughs> it's a recurring theme. Too many fucking Burricks in the game. Oh my lord. See, I thought I was just being hyperbolic when I was just like, yeah, there's just too many monsters and killing in the first one. And I thought I was just towing the party line by saying the shit that everyone else says, but no. There was a good reason for me holding that belief. It wasn't just a uh, groupthink. Uh, because before anyone even said that to me, I remember playing, you know, this is before I had like tons of access to the internet first time I played Thief the Dark Project and I was just like, you know what? That was not like Thief 2 or Deadly Shadows at all. It's just there's so many monsters and so many things you have to kill. It's, it's a little ridiculous at times. I think I do remember this area from the first time I played this one. And this is supposed to be the gold version, I thought, uh, so that the Hand Brotherhood does show up, I am told, at some point here. When, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Really have no clue. No treasure on top of the buildings. 
What is this, amateur hour? <sighs> you know, and I think uh, level design like this and, and some of the other parts of the game is really indicative of the of what they you know looking glass studios talked about when they talked about how this game was made and that you know it just they really still weren't sure about the stealth aspect of the game and if it was going to be very compelling gameplay and, and you know so they it, it kind of is a little uh tonally inconsistent and, and mechanically inconsistent in areas Oh, fucking Jesus, I thought those guys were gone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just like... I mean, I know I'm not playing super carefully, but I... Because I, I read up, I was just like, what are the differences between Thief Gold and the Dark Project? I don't know. And so I was curious what the differences were. And uh, uh, what I read, they were like, oh, yeah, well, uh, they sort of eschewed some of all the, you know, the more supernatural monsters in this level for the, the Hand Brotherhood. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And I had no fucking idea. All these things were still here. Yeah, those things are going to be the bane of my existence. Not quite, but still, thank God. They've got some broadheads. Deal with spiders and stuff. Very nice. I think I hear another... Yes, I do. Wait, do they respawn? That's not fair. Now, if they keep spawning out of this fucking lava pit, I'm out of here. Ridiculous. Dear Melu, the city is too grand for this unworthy country, lass. I visited the Emperor's Colosseum. Such a spectacle. The Colosseum is bigger than our village. The cheer is deafening when they extend the bridge from below the royal balcony. Great doors open and the combatants enter the battlefield. A raised island in the middle of the arena. Hundreds of magical fires float on the surface of the water. I saw there a gladiator who wrestled with a pair of lions, and the Emperor's son himself tossed him a bag of gold. I will tell you more later, but Chirak calls Maza. Okay. That also sounds dangerous. I don't... Some, something approaches. Something awful. I'm starting to get lost. Which means I'm probably on the right track. Alright, so that's where I decided to go that way. And that's where I came from, from Berg Central. So we're gonna go over here and try and do this jump. Oop. Try and get some more treasure. I heard now. Okay, this is just a normal, terrifying lava fall. Just exploring, guys. Just exploring. So this is the lost city. It's not lost no more. <laughs> Interesting delivery, Stephen Russell. soon find a supply of water here in the city. The heat from the magma is dehydrating us too quickly. Our water crystals have been saved for emergencies, but we may soon be forced to rely on them. Hopefully the tower is not much farther. I think I just found it. Oh, hold on. 
hopefully we have not much further to go to the tower. All right, a little redundant there in your diary writing. I know it's your uh, last days and all, but come on, you know, I've got places to be and stuff to do, so. Make with the brevity. Apparently the Ark of the Covenant is then in here. All right, let's see. Come on, buddy. And you guys wondered why I was like, we need water arrows. Uh, uh, huh? Yeah, we'll do that one. This doesn't get us our gems requirement. I'm gonna be pissed. Only 670. Hold on. Gold, gems, 490. Yeah, we were literally... They couldn't have put 500 worth of gems in this room. They had to be like that. This is also a room in uh, Thief 2. This makes an appearance. This must have been a theater. The theater. And apparently Dagon was in attendance. <laughs> uh, the layout's just slightly different, but not... No, actually it's not. It's, f it's almost identical. That's pretty cool. And I think the funny thing is when you go to that room again, the one with all the jewels, um, there are security cameras and it's kind of hard to get past because it's pretty well illuminated, uh, but all the jewels are gone. So that's a nice little touch. Ooh, a scroll. A scroll. To honor the life, memory of our departed father and king, Vatarak, son of the sky, the Colosseum he built for his people will be closed for a year and a day. Let the gates be locked and none make merry, while the sky and earth themselves do shake and cry for their departed brother. This I decree, Vatoran, son of the sky. Kind of a dick move, but okay. Like how this place can't decide if it's like ancient Rome, ancient Greece, Egypt, Mesopotamia. It's kind of like it's having a bit of an identity. Did I just assume this uh, this civilization's uh, uh, cultural underpinnings? Ooh. Haven't been this way yet. <laughs> so we're gonna go back downstairs and make sure we explored every last nook down here before we proceed. This is where we came from. <laughs> I'm just gonna check around these parts real quick. I want to go down there because there's no way back up, so no thank you. Hmm. We're going to try the other one. Yes. Nope. Just lava. Good looking lava though. I gotta say, that's pretty good lava texture. I like it. I don't know if it's the original though, I have to say. Really, I don't know what has been changed and what is what hasn't been changed in this build based on if it's part of Thief Gold, which they did some retexture work on, just uh, looking glass, I mean, or if it's uh, part of T-Fix. I'm not 100% sure, guys, so. Ooh, another scroll. 
a speech given by Master Ruitan, Ruitan to the Guild of Enlightenment. The priests tell the ignorant that the earth is crying for her departed brother, Vatarak. We know that these tremors signify something more ominous. Tarak would have listened to us and evacuated the city, but his son is less enlightened. The guild must protect what we can by whatever magical and mundane means we possess. The tower must not fall. All right. Well, I saw the tower earlier. I was pretty close, but I don't think I could make it. So there's got to be another way around to the tower. And I think that way around involves going up here, most likely. That's where we got the first scroll. It's the theater. And maybe this way? I'm not sure. <gasps> it goes down into that lava pit. So I think we found out what happened to the... Uh, to the lost city. Okay, so that's where that led. I'm gonna approach with caution everywhere. Yeah, see these obelisks as well as these hieroglyphs would, would signify sort of Egyptian. Oh yeah, this is all flooded with lava in Thief 2, this part. Or maybe it's further on down the... Yeah, I was about to say, I was just like, I was pretty sure. But I think this uh, this is this part's in Thief 2 as well. So we need 2,000 in loot. There we go, the Hand Brotherhood. That probably means we're close to the right track here. What do you I warn you. Uh. Gonna wait for him to pass. I think I'm gonna rush him. Did I what am we here? <gasps> Shit. Somebody's coming. Maybe not. Guess what? Hold on. Objectives. Uh, oh, I can kill whoever I want. Goodbye, evidence. Ooh, that's one of the keeper medallions. Here's a scroll. Let the tomb be dug deep into the earth and filled with all manner of things which are pleasing to serve him in his nether days. Splendor shall follow our beloved monarch to mark his glory, and woe to those who would disturb his sleep. They shall be imper imperiled from below. I don't. I have never actually seen this word in my life before. They shall be imperiled from below, from above, and from that which is directly before their eyes. I'm gonna hide. Got another rope arrow. We've been careful to avoid the roaming elementals throughout our sojourn, but today we've taken a serious blow. From out of nowhere, a number of them assaulted the troop. We fend them off with our remaining supply of water crystals, but the price was heavy. Hodge was severely burned and may not live through the night. Both Yanis and Ambner are dead. <clears throat> Is that his corpse smoking? It is. Actually, you would float on lava. Because I guarantee molten rock is more dense than you are. It seems like the way I might need to go. You know, I may actually ghost these guys because I don't think I need to anything off of them. Do 
Okay, I hear somebody coming. All oh, gosh damn it. You know what? You. You kill. What is this guy made of? Kevlar? Actually, that wouldn't work. Well, I was using more bludgeoning actions than anything. I think what we know what we have to do is try and take that light out. But I'm trying to reserve these for the friggin' elementals, but we'll see. Back up some more hidden. Coming up the stairs. right here and uh oh jesus i'm gonna save in jesus or is jesus saving us ah, 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 ah. all right i'll play your silly game There better be ro more rope arrows where this came from. Ah! Fantastic. Really well done, Geralt. I almost said Geralt. Assuming there is a way back. There's a ladder down there. Well, what the hell? There's nothing inside here? What was the point of this sarcophagus then? Bruh. Bruh. Not cool, bruh. There's a dead guy there, so I'm assuming there's some sort of horrifying monster up ahead, or one of those elementals, so we'll see. Well, we did just save with Jesus, so I think we're okay. To try and venture forth. These guys are really into walking paths and building shelters from the winds. Also, they're really into reverb. Shelters from the winds. Feel something. I have a lever. Very nice. Okay. Man, I'm really liking this uh, ceiling and the, the overall uh, aesthetic of this lost city. It's really cool. That guy was pretty close to singing the Halo theme there. Everyone just has to rip off Looking Glass Studios. Even Bungie. They're just like, yeah, we, we don't know how to make... We don't know how to make a game without ripping off. Ah! See, I don't even know where the fucking trap is. This is... I need Admiral Akbar right now. See, he's... That's... That's... That was, I should have bought that at the, uh, at the pre-mission briefing screen. That's what I should have bought, was Admiral Akbar with me. He could have told me where the trap was. You 
What vision disturbs me? There my the I see has been breached. Alright. Okay. You don't gotta tell me twice. Don't threaten me with a good time. The light there is a disturbance. In the force? Really? That didn't kill you? F*** you. Okay, that's fucking lame. Your corpse shall feed the oh, cause he's a fire mage, that's why. I was like, come on, that's ridiculous. This is a good use of resources, but if they've toned down the number of elementals in this level, then maybe this is fine. Did you All hear that? Is not still. <sighs> to hide the in the shadows, intruder disturbs the air. your fear, intruder. <laughs> can I make your any more noise? Is a hurricane that cannot be outrun. I call upon. The oh my God. It's just trial and error, boys. Well, first off, let's take this one out. Okay. There's no disturbing. I made no noise. give up soon and then I can just go in and <clears throat> all right it's time for a little blackjack party and I think we're gonna make a save entitled just that I was gonna say BJ party and I was like ah oh, maybe not let's just type it out and not be lazy <laughs> This is when the AI is freaking out again. This. Do you think you can survive this motherfucker? Do not try to escape. Escape while you The shadows reveal your cowardice, intruder. Well, I scored a headshot on the first guy. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, you, you guys see all the these headshots? <laughs> the eternal fire will reclaim you. I am falling. Let's try that again. Be still. Your corpse shall feed the earth. God damn it, you god damn magic wielding ridiculous mother Ah! You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Fuck him. Darkness shall over. No! Uh, There's any 
anything else in there that I need? To attack. Oh. I, once again, I guys, it's it kind of reminds me of that bit in Constantine's Manor. I don't know if this is uh, an issue with Thief Gold or with the mod that's causing AI to get all. To attack will gain you nothing, man. The shadows will man. Not to hide in the shadows is to reveal your. See, they can hear me. They shouldn't be able to hear me right now. I don't know what the fucking deal is. There's an issue. There's a there's a there's an AI issue right now. They should not be able to hear mm -hmm. that. The walls have been breached. God fucking damn it. Jesus Christ. I'm starting to get really pissed off now. Seem to be anything in these sarcophagi. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if I wanted to do that quick save, but we gotta get in there and get that fucking thing. What a fucking ridiculous clusterfuck. A lot of people like to say, and I'm definitely one of those people, that stealth games uh, live and die by uh, consistent rules. And Thief has always been great about that. And I never had issues like this in Thief 2. I never had issues like this in, in the original Thief Gold or the Dark Project. So I don't know what the hell's going on in this one. You know what? I feel like I do need to get in there. you can we wish to be left all right we're gonna go ahead and save here uh yeah we'll save lost city right there and hopefully he won't find us while searching hopefully he'll give up and then we can just go knock him out because i feel like we do need something in there um because otherwise what is the point of this whole area i mean to hide in the shadows. We do need to get to the tower. Your fear, intruder. So, 515 gems. We should be good on gems. Hold on, let me check objectives. Oh, and fi including 500 in gems. Okay, so we're, we're good there. What's our total loot? 990. All right, so we're getting there. I'm going to go ahead and save and see what he's doing. Has he stopped looking for us? Okay, so I just don't think we scored a, a headshot the first time. I think that was my mistake. All right, where are we at with loot? Oh, we got this lever. That may do something that we need later. Okay, maybe not. There's nothing in here that we need, I guess. Okay, we have a thousand gold. All right, so uh, like on all expert missions thus far, we're basically gonna have to clear out the entire freaking level just to find all the stuff that we need. And it did cost us two water arrows, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, I think there was, there was quite a bit of loot in here. I was hoping it was there were gonna be some more uh, 
quest relevant stuff in here. Forgot about the booby trap, that's my bad. I was finding it hard to believe that there wasn't anything more important in the uh, sarcophagus here either. pretty close. Jeez. Okay. Hit and save. Alright, so maybe we didn't need to go there. We still need to find a way to the tower. But, uh, like I said, we're just gonna have to explore this whole damn map. Let's... Look, there my friend. There. A disturbance. Fuck you. I guess this is not a way to the, um, to the tower. The hell? We certainly got our total in gems. Actually, I think that's supposed to be silver. I always thought it was like an uncut diamond, but I think it's supposed to be silver. think. Don't know for sure. Okay, back into the theater, and I think we got everything in this general area. I kind of want to go back to Brick Avenue because there was one route we didn't take there, and I'm just like, it's, it's driving me insane because I'm like, I'm sure there was something there, something we needed, but I, I can't say for sure, you know. Uh, we already came here, got the fire arrows there. I think we're good here. We know where that leads. No keeper medallions here. Where does this lead? That's down to the tower. Sometimes when Garrett, like, he, he has enough, like, room and everything to mantle, and he just, like, refuses to. I don't know what his fucking problem is. See? I don't know what was different about that jump than any other jump, but... Go down here. where we encountered some of those damn things. Oh, okay, we didn't need to go that way. Huh, once again, like I said the other day, uh, this is just... really loves to be maze-like. 
um, Thief, uh, the Dark Project and Thief Gold. They're just like really, that's their thing. They're like, yes, as many as like as possible, please. Very few levels are easily navigable. Versus Thief 2, I mean, navigation's no picnic, but it's certainly doable. <laughs> All right, now we're back on Burrick Avenue. Okay. Let's make sure we explore all the houses just in case there's loot that we need. Like up here. Nope. sure we can't go that way. I don't know, just a hunch. <sighs> okay, nothing here. Can't. Oh, it can get up here. To what point and purpose, though? No point, no purpose. It's just something that's possible. All right. may have to make a jump across that gap then to get to the uh, to the tower because I don't really see any other way to get to where we want to go ladies and gents that may be the only way to do it it's like we're back gonna have to go <laughs> we're gonna have to go back this way just had a mini stroke there it's fine Okay, now if I can just remember how to get the fuck back to that place I was at. To get to the tower. I don't remember the way to the tower, if I'm being honest. Yes, I do, never mind. I don't know why I lie to you guys all the time. Alright, so. Yeah, I just don't think we can make that. Look at that. There's no way. tried this way yet up here nope we didn't okay I'm pretty sure this is the way yep something else uh, all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack and go check out there was another route back there I want to leave no stone unturned this <laughs> I like when I'm always just like ooh, there was two paths and then the the fork is always just like a single structure with like gold in it or something. 
I mean, it makes navigating easier, but it's still, it's like, oh man, I could have just gone there once and been fine. Nothing in here, I think. Okay. Okay, well now we're all saved up, we're ready to go, we checked everything out, we got an extra supply of fire arrows in case we need to merc some fools. Make another hard save real quick. Uh, we'll save over Blackjack Party because screw that save. And the buggy AI. Uh, there better be like a shitload of treasure at that tower because uh, we're a little bit behind on our loot quota. Is that the call? That must be the Coliseum. Um, <laughs> it's a bit tiny. So just make a quick save, and now we're going to go check out what's over here. I hear some dudes. I remember this part from uh, the Dark Project. There was a bunch of fire elementals here. I like how a lot of the loot is very similar in Thief 2 as well, and these boxes will be broken, and you've got these weird Egyptian Atlantean sort of like funeral, unless they're supposed to be beds, which that looks super uncomfortable. Earth shakes, water flows, something do not flee. <sighs> well, at least we know not to go down there. Try and keep a low profile. We may have to ghost some of this just out of necessity. Please don't turn around. I got you, bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw them in the lava because they can walk in the lava. I forgot. I shall walk the path until my return to the eternal fire. Flows. Fire burns. Earth shakes. Water flows. Wait a tick. This is also in Thief 2. I think we're actually close to the end, guys. I do remember this being very, very close to the end of the level. Although there are a few locations we haven't gone to yet, which I do faintly remember. 
think there's any wood up there. Unless the ceiling is wood. I don't think it is. I think it's stone. But we could try climbing up. No, I think, yeah, it looks like stone. getting there for our loot total. Actually, I didn't even check it. All right, 16.75. And there's usually nothing in these boxes. They're just broken like that. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing behind there. Wait. Oh, I thought that said 1665. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? How did I lose gold? 1865. Alright, so we're close to that objective. Then all we have to do is find the damn talisman and get the hell out of here. And there's no way downstairs except through the with the arrow. So, I mean, that looks like wood. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to save and we're going to try it. See if we can climb up on the roof there. Nope. Thank God for quick saves. <gasps> All right, well, we got some loot. Now we just gotta figure out where the damn talisman is, which I believe it's fairly close. Uh, don't tell me this is a dead, oh, of course it is. Well, now I'm completely at a loss. I have no idea where to go once again. I think the bourbon will help me think. Well, I can't guarantee it'll help me think, but I can guarantee it tastes amazing. Let's try and make it to the Coliseum. <gasps> oh my god, that was... Oh, there's probably a switch to extend the bridge, whatever. Made the jump. Oh, you know what? It was probably up in the Emperor's uh, box, like the note said. I didn't even think about that. Let's just see what's in here real quick. back you know what let's test that little box theory because I'm, I'm curious so we'll just make a save before we drop down we're up here the emperor's area here I don't see anything Is it Papyrus? Uh, the great doors open to the combatants. Uh, a raised island in the middle of the arena. Hundreds of magical fires float in the surface of the water. I saw the gladiator who wrestled with a pair, and the emperor's son tossed him a bag of gold. I'll tell you more later what Cherik calls. No, well, maybe they didn't mention the... They mentioned the raised island. I, I thought I remembered something about... But there's got to be a switch around here, yeah? What trouble is this? No trouble. No trouble at all. All is not. The darkness will not protect you for long. I guess we did have to jump for it. Do Shit, I don't. In the uh, a dishonorable attack from behind. Uh. 
That guy killed himself. I don't know what he was doing, but he killed himself. Alright, well, I'm not gonna mess around over there. Right, let's go see if we missed the bag of gold, maybe? If there was one in the arena. I didn't see one. No. No bag of gold that I can tell, so... Sort of remember this area. <laughs> interesting sound work here for this uh, little area, I gotta say. It's supposed to be like a pyramid here or something? What is this? If I didn't finish my thought earlier, yeah. Uh, oh, way earlier. Uh, yeah, molten rock. Um, even if it's molten, I don't think that you're more dense than that. That's why you uh, would actually float on lava. That's why Smeagol wouldn't have sunk uh, beneath the... Uh, beneath the lava in Mountain Doom. He would have just kind of burned and kind of like spattered around on the surface. It's actually worse when you think about it, because it's going to take you a little bit longer to die. If you just fall in, it's it's not instantaneous, but it's not its not a long death either. There's got to be another medallion here, right? There we go. Yes, I was about to say, I was like, come on, man. We had just come upon a tall and sturdy tower, and it was agreed upon that we should deposit the talisman there. The staircase to the top floor had collapsed some time ago, which made ascension difficult. Eric had pointed out the ledge circling the tower, suggesting that one of us place the talisman out there. I laughed at his comment and caringly, this disturbs me. Tomorrow we shall head back the way we came. I cannot keep myself from wondering why the burning elementals stood at bay as we passed. Will they still, now that we no longer carry the talisman of fire? Well, they didn't stand at bay for me, and I didn't have shit on me. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything on this obelisk. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't think there's anything up there. Alright, so we uh, let's check our objectives. We'll almost certainly get the next... Uh, it's less than 200 loot. It's actually less than 150 loot. It's like 135... Um, and get the talisman of fire, and then we'll get the hell out of here. I don't know how much more loot we're gonna get. Is there stats? Can I be? No. No, I can't check my stats in mission. Um. <clears throat> but I mean, if the fire elementals left me alone, that would be fine. At least until I grab the talisman, but I don't think that's how they work, because they already fired upon me twice. Oh, this is also in uh, Thief. Uh, is that Cthulhu? That is abs That is absolutely Cthulhu. That is awesome. That is awesome. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even realize that was there. I always got a sort of Lovecraftian vibe to, to Thief. All right, we're gonna save. This could be Harry. Okay, it's not too bad. This could be hairy. Oh, it's not too bad. Alright, so... Oh, nope. Here we go. <sighs> 
Aha! Now that's the second objective completed. And I think there's, yeah, there's a wall there. There's a wall there, trust me. Um, so we're just gonna get around Cthulhu here. See, so is this supposed to be the realm of the deep one? Oh, I, you know what? I think that's why there's the curse shock in uh, Thief Deadly Shadows, because that reference right there, the Cthulhu reference, which I don't know if that's in Dead or uh, the Dark Project. It could just be gold, but um, the little Cthulhu reference, and then, of course, the curse shock are, like, deep ones. Um, and they even bring treasure to the city. Um, and I think that's why people are upset with them, because, oh, holy shit. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's fight. Oh, damn it. Thank you. intense. Just gonna do a quick save there. Alright, we did it. Let's circle around and make sure that the tower is clear on this side, too. Why don't we have the blackjack out? It's just gonna be elementals from here on out, I'm pretty sure. Just check your objectives. It's always nice to see that list, like, almost completely filled out. I love that. It's a crying sun. I'm guessing it's around here somewhere. I don't know. Just, uh, just got a gut feeling is all. Yeah, see, that's like, yeah, that's like Dagon. Yeah, there's definitely, like, some Lovecraftian shit going on here, which is awesome. It's all coming together. I'm gonna grab as much loot as possible, because the next mission... Actually, I have no frame of reference. I've never played the next mission. Fire rains upon us from the sky at the temple of Nel Nalahotep, which I think is also another Lovecraftian reference. Uh, four hallowed geldings were offered to appease the acrimonious earth. The sanguine overture has done nothing to pacify her. Sanguine is a uh, word that the writers involved in Thief love a lot. Alright, that didn't work. Hmm, how the hell do I get... Uh, wait a minute... <laughs> yep, that's how. It's a long way down. Okay, we're gonna go with eight. Rope arrow. Well, we didn't save first, but I don't... Well, we're just... We're gonna find out now where our last save was. Alright, it was there. Okay, good. Long way down. save. I don't think that's the piece of wood that we were looking for. It's a long way down. It sure is, Garrett. Alright, I think this is the one where we yes, There we go. Very nice. Please hit. There we go. Nicely done. Go ahead and save. Hup. And get up on there. Oh. <laughs> what a crock of shit. Alright, let's try it again. <gasps> that works. Got the fire talisman. 
awesome. Nothing. How could you? How could you again? And okay. All right, so. gonna save again and uh, I think I saw someone talking about this on a, on a uh, I said you're supposed to make that jump but I don't see that there's no fucking way you can make that jump like what the hell Bit of chaos. Okay. try this way now here's the thing like I said I mean Supposed to be that, I guess. speed potion or any what is this lever for by the way oh oh i know what it's for <sighs> duh wait a minute now i definitely know what it's for okay uh we're gonna go ahead and load we don't want that one Gotta be some place to put this damn lever. Because there's actually a little platform under there that extends out.
that I saw, and I don't know where to put this lever. I don't remember seeing any place to put the lever. Hold on, I'm just gonna make sure we have been recording. Yeah, we have been recording this whole time, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Not going back downstairs. Hold on, maybe there isn't a... No, there isn't a bridge. I thought there might have been a bridge that you can extend. But I don't see one now. I'd be better off looking for another way around. I don't know if I have to go out the way I came. That would be a bitch, but I mean, not impossible, but I might have to go out the way I can, but I don't remember doing that. I do remember getting out this way, I think. actually work. Let's try that.
I don't think this is the way you're supposed to get out, although I don't know. Um, I've heard that this is the way to get out. But then I also remember someone saying something about, like, it looks like the way to get out, but it's... But it's not actually... First off, let's... If we're gonna just... Let's just... pretty close. Alright, uh... Damn. Hmm. This is so weird. Cause it- that looks like it's the friggin' way out, right? The only other thing I can think of is maybe that's a branching path at the beginning of the level to try and trick you. Or to show you, like, oh, there's the talisman, it's right there, but you can't reach it. Uh, I think that's what's going on. So we're gonna go ahead and load brick, I guess. Or not, we're gonna load... Oh, shit. Uh, damn it. We need a safe way down. That's the problem. I think this is the right, or it was the right way, okay. Okay, we're gonna make another stick here. We're gonna put it over uh, Jesus, I guess. Alright, we'll do that, and then we'll try and backtrack through all this fucking 
We'll just go out the way we came in, I guess, if that's even possible. I have no fucking clue. I have this, like, suspicion that that's what we're supposed to do over there, and, like, I'm missing something where I just... It was programmed horribly, and you can't do it very well. God, stupid fucking jumps, the simplest fucking jumps. Can we just try, please, like, <clears throat> ugh. All right, if we really have to backtrack to this entire place, it's not really the end of the world, it's not too bad, but it's still a little annoying and irksome. All things considered. This way, it's safer. We'll use the rope arrow. Another annoying thing is when you're just trying to get over a ledge or something like that and like the 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 Garrett's collision or something doesn't work and then you end it See? It's like shit like that. It's like oh my god. You know. Uh, someone runs up here and kills me. I'm going to be fucking pissed. I will escape while I can. Thank you very much. That was the whole idea. Oh yeah, yeah. Damn it. Don't want to waste any water arrows. Getting caught on corners like left and right. Why is it back to that? Ah! I think I'm just frustrated and pissed off now because it just like, what? What? past this one. Yeah, I think you do have to go back this way. That's why there's all the fire elementals. You fucking kidding me? God damn it. Yeah, I'm just frustrated now. Because, like, to backtrack through this whole place... And at this point, I'm just kind of done with this level, you know? And I don't want to have to spend time, like, aiming with the stupid fucking fire elementals and stuff. Now, if I can just remember how to get the hell back home, I have no fucking clue. Uh, it's 
not that way. It's definitely not that way. We're gonna go this way. Not this way. I think it's... So here's where I'm lost. No clue at this. Oh, wait, maybe. Yep, okay, back to Burke <laughs> Village here. Burke Avenue. Just follow the trail of corpses. That's how you get home. Exactly remember the way out. This could be it. I hope this is it. This looks promising ish, I don't know. Okay, that looks pretty good. Although I do have a fleeting suspicion I've been here already. Maybe? No, I have not. I mean, at least not recently. Nope. There. Damn it. Alright. Wrong way. here. No, that's the way we went last time. That was not a good direction. I think we want to go this way. Yes. I'm remembering this now. Yes, this is how this is the way out. It, just like in Thief 2. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make a hard save here. Uh, this one's no. I'm gonna put it on. Damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, this one wasn't too bad, but um, definitely didn't like all the backtracking at the end here. Kind of pissed me off. This is the way out in Thief 2. It's not the way out in this one. I think we gotta go over here. And I think it's through. Uh, I hope it's through here. Not quite. Here we go. Yeah, and this was the Kingdom of the Spiders over here, if anyone gets that reference. I mean, this is one way out. Maybe not the most elegant way out, but it is one of them. Now I'm just curious. Damn it. 
My aim is so awful. Oh my god! The fuck did you go? What am I doing? I think I'm a bit fatigued, guys, and I'm not making good. Come here, you little bitch! Is that the last of you? I think it is. See, there we go. It was supposed to taunt us and be like, Oh, it's so easy to come over here. Just jump. Although, I'm not entirely certain you can't make that jump. I know the speedrunners can, but I think they're like... It, it, the game, you're not supposed to do it. Either that, or you're just supposed to chain the bunny hops together. You know what I mean? It could be that. But anyways, let's go ahead and save again. Uh, table, I guess? I don't know. I don't really care. Nice. Alright, that was the Lost City. Let's check our stats. 1 hour 13 minutes. If we didn't get lost, I, th I think we could have been under an hour. 2190 or 2845. I am a little surprised that we didn't get closer to this, but still. Backstabs 3, knockout 6. Uh, bodies discovered by enemies. None. Innocence killed. None. Others killed. 21. Oh, yeah, because I killed a bunch of uh, fire elementals and I killed some mages and stuff, so. So far, 11 and a half hours for the entire campaign. All right. Blindness is the man fools. These gathers up treasures and greeters themselves on golds, rocks, and fetters. The woodsy world reeks at them with lilacs and nettles, and gathers the bones for his porridge and feathers. Text under tribute. The keepers stash the talisman of water in a series of hidden <clears throat> caverns located deep below the city. According to their map, I'll find it in a shrine located in the lowest cavern. I don't expect to run into anything too threatening other than a few venomous spiders. However, the map does contain this note. Stand not against us, lest you feel the sting of ignorance's barbs. <laughs> Sounds like keeper talk for, we've rigged the place. An informant of mine, Geary, made a home for himself in these caverns after he lost his job tending the ticket counter of a nearby opera house. He should know these caverns better than anyone, so I'll pay him a visit to see if he has any useful information for me. Okay, Song of the Caverns. Difficulty expert. Locate your informant, Geary. He may have valuable information about the caverns for you. Use the Keeper's map to find the Talis Talisman of Water. Remember, they've probably rigged the place. They've probably rigged the place, so be careful. It's getting late, folks, and I've been drinking. Not a lot, but just enough, I guess. Uh, escape from the caverns after you've taken the talisman. It may not be as easy as you think. Loot may be scarce down in the caverns, but as but an expert thief such as yourself should be able to find at least 200 worth. Humans will be scarce in the cavern as as scarce in the cavern as loot. So if you find your informant Geary or any people, don't kill them. Um, so I'm guessing because the next mission doesn't actually require water arrows, things like that, that this was, because the next mission is undercover, uh, after Song of the Caverns, so I guess they were thinking like, well, since you don't need as many gadgets, it's okay if there's not that much loot, I, I'm guessing the total loot in the level is probably going to be like four to 500, and it's just 200 on expert, so I won't be able to buy much going into undercover, but that's not the end of the world, necessarily, um, all right, let's give it a shot. Well, actually, I mean, this is going to be the end of this episode. We're going to buy our gear first, of course, but that'll be the end of this episode, and then we will go into the next one. I have no idea what to expect, but as always, I'm going to stock up on water arrows. I don't think 16 is too many. Moss arrows are, what, 125 apiece? I already have three. Let's get five. 
Uh, rope arrows, I have three. That should honestly be enough. Let me see if there's anything else I want. Uh, fire arrows, they usually give to you if you absolutely need them. Plus, there's only one available, so screw that. I already have one healing potion just in case. Flash bombs, may not need those. Broadheads, probably won't need those. So, I guess gas arrows are 500 each. We'll get two of these. And then a rope arrow is how much? 200. Moss is 125. Which is a fire. Fire is 300. Healing potion is 250. I have no idea. Five moss should be enough. Rope, I have... Oh, I said, yeah, I was going to buy maybe two more ropes just in case. There we go. So five, uh, five ropes is excessive. I'm going to go with it just in case. All right, so let's just go hide out here real quick. Save uh, the lost save over that. So now we are at caverns. Um... So guys, I think that will do it for me for this episode. Um, I will probably tonight, the same night, I'll be playing Song of the Caverns because I've been really itching to get my hands on this. Uh, other than Life of the Party, I've heard from other Thief fans that this is like another fan favorite, you know, maybe like the second best in the entire series, second best mission. So I'm going to try and keep my expectations tempered and low so that I can be surprised if it's really good. Um, but uh, I, I have been looking forward to it because it just sounds cool, like an under underground, underwater opera house. It kind of reminds me of uh, Bartoli's hideout from Tomb Raider 2, uh, which is another huge, or another big game, favorite game of mine. I fucking love Tomb Raider 2. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I know this one wasn't as lively. I think I was just <laughs> confounded by just trying to navigate the damn lost city. Um, uh, it actually wasn't as big as I thought it might be, but still it was labyrinthian enough to give me a run for my money. I don't know why I was so upset about having to go through the end. I guess I just thought it was going to be harder to find the way out. But um, yeah, once again, thank you for joining me for this Let's Play. Uh, I finished The Lost City, and now it's time to start Song of the Cavern, so uh, check in with the next episode so we can do that. Once again, I appreciate you all tuning in to check this out, and uh, that's all that's just going to be from me this time. Thanks again.